Okay, so this is The Suitor. Uh, this is an episode where, uh, uh, Peppermint Butler's doing God knows what. <laughs> what did I say? I said don't fuck with Peppermint Butler. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, dude, he's, like, taking part in the dark arts. He's got, uh, Cinnamon Bun, like, hanging upside down, putting some sort of dark demon in him. And uh, he's got all these weird things lying around, but then... One of the giant, uh, what are those statues called? Gumball Guardians. Uh, Gumball Guardians comes, and, uh, ah, you're not gonna distract me this time. Well done, Joey. Uh, so, you know, comes and says, hey, there's all these suitors waiting to, uh, to talk with peoples, you know, or, or to be with her, you're supposed to be in charge of this. So, he finds this one at the end of the line, actually like, uh, the son of one who died. And, uh, because many have been waiting there like 300 years and stuff. And so finally, uh, he says, okay, you're good. It sends him in there, his name is Bracco, and, uh, they're doing this because Peebles is too into her science, she's gone, like, days and days without sleep, and, uh, so he comes in, she's still not interested, but he just vows, I have to live up to what my father said, I have to fall in love with you, and I do love you, and blah blah blah, so... She figures, eh, guinea pig, so kinda uses him as a guinea pig for a bit, and... He loves it, and finally he wants to do something nice for her, so he takes this quest away from, or asks for this quest, I guess, from Finn and Jake, uh, to get this sort of, was it like a soul orb or Soul some, stone. Soul stone. He goes, gets that, gets horribly burned and, you know, disfigured and stuff, brings it back, turns out people doesn't need it, there's a better one. <laughs> or she makes a better one or she something makes it, like yeah. that. And, um... So he goes back to Peppermint Butler, who uses some sort of dark magic to make anyone who sees him fall in love with him, but also it disfigures the hell out of him, like, even more so. Uh, but Peppermint Butler really is in love with him, I guess. You know, have my babies. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, just sort of goes and back to Peebles and says, please let me be with you. And she's like, no, I can't, but here's a robot me. You know, and... Goes, you know, he seems to like that, goes off with her, tells Peppermint Butler what happened, and he slaps her really hard. <laughs> it's it, it's one of my favorite animations, because it just looks so painful. I mean, yeah. you see, like, her glasses fly off and the hair flies. It's so detailed for this show, and it's, it just makes the, the hit so much <laughs> painful. So, um... You should have given him to me! <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, no, I thought this was, uh, I thought it was, uh, fun. I, it's nice seeing, um, I, I, there is a part of me that can kind of identify with the workaholic aspect. Uh, I, I think in that moment where she's like, you know, like her eyes are like all wrinkled and stuff, just like, you know, huh, ah, what, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. It's like, I can, I've had nights, mornings like that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, and I guess the big thing that sort of goes through my head is whether or not... You know, I'm watching this, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, he's committing himself to her, but, I mean, he doesn't know anything about her, you know? I mean, I'm sure he's like... Yeah, but no, those suitors do, you know, they just want because that water, because that's just how things go. It's how there's suitors, there's royalty, we must exchange land or whatever. <laughs> um, so... Doug, shall we exchange land? <laughs> it's got huge tracts of land! Yes. Uh, so... So yeah, so he's but he, it seems like he's very committed to convince himself that oh, he's yeah. in love, you know. So it's not something where he's like necessarily doing it for anything bad or evil. It's just this is kind of all he knows because he's the only one, you know, that got in and his father, <laughs> you know, died to give him this post. So just the guilty feel from that, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, and I think it's like you know. It, the only thing he's gonna understand is a yes, and so he gives this robo her, you know, that's just gonna, you know, obviously just say yes, you know, and goes off, and yeah, it's sort of all he was looking for, really, was just a doll. I mean, he's just looking yeah. for something, you know, he's looking for a prize. Here's your prize, you know, bye-bye. Um, but I like that they don't make him, like, mean or a jerk or anything like that, you know. It's, it's just, just an idiot. 
Well, yeah, well, he's just lost, and it's no, like... No, he's just an idiot. No, but you can see why, because he wasn't raised, or that his father was dumb enough to wait in line for however long, and then <laughs> somehow it's like, where was his wife, and did the wife chop her off? Did he somehow give birth? I mean, it's like, we don't know, but, um, <laughs> but there we are, that's the situation. <laughs> um... So I think the only thing, we were talking with Jory a little bit about this, like, was people really mean in this or was she not? I think the only thing I kind of go, hmm, about is her using him as a guinea pig, which is really funny. I mean, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I'm like, that is kind of leading him on a bit. Unless you could argue that the whole thing she was working on that whole time was just making a robot for him. That's possible. You know, because he, he's like, she's like constantly measuring this stuff, and she's measuring when he's in love, and constantly... I, just, I think that's what was going on, the more I think about it. Yeah, she is probably, because any time he's like trying to... He's wearing the hat and trying to sort of come on to her, you know, he zaps her, or she zaps him with something, and then sort of looks oh. at the readings and stuff. I mean, it's... Yeah, that might actually be what's going on. So that would make actually total logical sense. Um, so yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Sorry to see my daughter off camera going <laughs> Basically just going In your face mom <laughs> uh, <laughs> No I, I I don't think Peebles was being a jerk in this one I love you sweetheart But uh No Peebles was being Peebles That's the thing He's been in line for 20 years Yeah he's an idiot for doing this 20 years of being around someone and seeing how they act, you should learn to grasp onto how they are. Well, but wait, how does he ever actually been... see her? He's just waiting outside the, the door. The door! Coming and going! That's like, the fact that she can. Consistently... Yeah, but I think she just walks in and walks out, that's it. <laughs> but the fact that she consistently ignores them, that one guy for 300 plus years... That should kind of say something right there. Well, yeah, true, but... Okay. Exactly! No, 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 no. But this point. guy is Her... born into this line. All he knows is this line. It doesn't matter, though. Yes, it does, and that's all he knows. He doesn't know anything from right or wrong. He just knows what from... his father said. It's like, you know, the minute out of the womb, it's like, all there is is this line and getting to <laughs> bubblegum. That's all there is. Getting it's into like... bubblegum. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't think Peebles was leading him on. I don't think... I don't think he was foolish because, yeah, he was it was blind love. Like, when he runs up to Finn and Jake and he's like, here, I'll do that. I want to do this. Or he was following them and they're like, yeah, fine, go ahead. And Finn goes, you know, I'm trying to remember, it was like, this is a lost road. Mm. Like, he, like Finn tells him, you're being, a, you're being an idiot for this. You're mm. not going to get anywhere with this. And he does it anyways. And, like, I can't feel bad for him getting beaten up or maimed or whatever because he's being an idiot. Well, he's not an adventurer. He doesn't know what he's doing. Finn and Jake does. That's why they were given the job and he was not. Well, but, I mean, I feel bad for the guy because, like I said, he doesn't know any better. He's going to, and his, his intention is good. He just doesn't know that it's foolish and idiotic. Uh, I will say this, that I think this used to, I, I see this coming up more and more. Uh, in stuff where it's like, because the mindset before, I think, at least I know when I was growing up, there's always sort of this mindset of, if I try hard enough, you know, and if I love you enough, like, you'll love me and we'll be happy and was meant to be because I love you so much, you know, that sort of mindset. Mm. And I think that probably came from, like, a lot of programming growing up or movies or shows. Kids and you know. it was movies and shows, yeah. Yeah, and there's sort of this thing now where it's like they build it up, uh, you know, that's like, no, it, it takes two. You know, it's two people, and they both have to agree. To right. <laughs> but they both have to agree, you know, to come together. It can't just be one person. I really love you. If the other person doesn't, it's, that's it. it. There's no, like, hey, I, I, I just have to love you more. I have to do yeah. even more. It's like, no, then you're just going after a prize. You're not going after a relationship. You know, so I think... The sort of thing, I'm seeing this more and more now, where they're trying to make that more clear. Maybe because there have been so many years of, you know, just looking at a person as a prize, you know, sort of thing. Or if I, if I love you enough, that'll win the day. Yeah. Um, so I like I like movies, I like shows that very clearly show no, that this is not how this works. It's, you need both parties, you need two people. Because uh, I think they're probably... I'm sure there still are now, you know, people that are very nice, kind people. They just don't 
know any better. They're, they're not very good. The stuff are not very smart. Hi! Um, but, I mean, there's, there's people that do this stuff and they fall into these traps of thinking, you know, sort of this very naive, quote-unquote, innocent way of, if I just love more, or it's something I'm not doing, I'm not doing, and just, no, it's, you know, it's, you need the other person, the person's not into you, let it go. So, yeah, so, so I like that this sort of tackles that, even though I know it's not the first, it probably won't be the last, but I still think it's a good, it's a good thing to keep emphasizing. That's the computer, don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'd like some clarification from the people in the comment section. Um, <laughs> in her office, in Peebles' uh, little office, I saw milkshakes, and I know that's not the cat's name from it. Gunther's uh, child was there. Oh, oh, the, the cat? The pink cat with the bandages around it. I head. saw the bandages, but was that... I, know, I thought was... the cat was drawn a little differently. I think that's supposed to be... That's why I'm asking if, because I know they check, some of them check the wiki and all that stuff. Uh. Um, yeah, that, and if you look behind Peebles in one of the cages, looks like the guy from Thief City, excuse me, where the one that, my jammies, my glasses, it looks like that's him in the cage back there. Literally, you just see him like, <laughs> for like, I totally miss, I didn't a see little that. bit of time. So, I'm just curious if anyone uh, else caught that, or if that's supposed to be him or not. I love how you can just set, is like, just go away, nerds, go, find this out for me. <laughs> wow, I, I, know, I, I can look it up him. I know, no, that's what you're pretty much saying, you're like, I know I can look it up myself, but, ah, I got a Mountain Dew, <laughs> not worth it. Ahem. Mountain Dew, Baja Blast. Limited time only. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is the only person more obsessed with Mountain Dew than Benzai. I have never met a person more obsessed. Limited time. Yeah, I see it. Thank you. <laughs> and what is the story behind that? It's the one from Taco Bell, yeah. right? Taco Bell had their own special Mountain Dew. And now they have two. Now they have two. And they can the one. That. It takes two to make a thing go right. It, it, okay, there you go. It takes two people. Oh. It takes two do. Yeah. And also, uh, with Peppermint Butler, again, like I said, don't mess with Peppermint Butler. <laughs> I was always wondering what you were talking about when you said that. Now <laughs> it's like, what the hell? <laughs> I told you, evil one. Um, if you also look with Peppermint Butler, there is the ghost demon thing from... Remember the dungeon where Finn jumps down and he tries to test his skills? Yeah, and then right. uh, he's just alone with the cat that's like, who kind of knows everything. Do you remember that cat? Uh, not especially, but keep going. Oh, I used to love him too. Um, basically, that ghost is there as well. That ghost demon. Was that thing. the really white one that was there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it's it, this show is so tough because it's like there's always stuff. It's like I swear I remember that. Mm -hmm. I know I saw it somewhere, but it's like God, what what was it again? How far along ago? I mean, like you were saying, there's a wiki of it. I mean, of course there is, yeah. but it's like that must be insane. Because there's just, like, a million things that keep coming back and have a backstory and stuff that, yeah, it must just be crazy. And, um, by the way, I'm not telling him to go do it for yeah, me. Yeah, you are. It promotes conversation. No, no, you're, you're just awful. Possibly. No, 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 there's no possibly it. about it. It's, it's a definite. Are you putting him on the same level as Peppermint Butler? Uh, no, he's at least cute. But I'm evil along those lines? Oh, yeah. Nice. Drink your Mountain Dew.